Hi all, welcome to Vision Coding Community Podcast. So today I am introducing to uh, Aishwarya. So Aishwarya will give you more insight about how to crack interviews and how to become a data engineer role and all. So that's why Aishwarya will give you some kind of like a very uh, like a clean kind of input from that you can implement in your preparation. Then definitely you can easily grab a job opportunity or offer letter. Okay, Aishwarya, welcome to the community podcast. Hi, Devi. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, Aishwarya, so if you give some bit introduction, like a small introduction about yourself and what is your background and how you crack the company. So it will be helpful for our community members. Yes. So yes. hi, friends. My name is Aishwarya. I'm working in the IT field since last three years, but I wanted to switch to data engineering. And uh, I've been preparing for engineering since a long time. And uh, I was giving interviews for almost five, six months. Okay. Which role, Aishwarya? You are working in support role, right? I'm working in production support role. Yes. And yeah. from production support, I wanted to switch to data engineering. And so I was studying it since a like long time. I had studied it for one year, I think almost. And I was uh, giving interviews since last six months and I've given almost uh, 20 plus or 30 plus interviews. I don't even remember the count now. Okay. But, uh, after so many so failures, many failure. I got a job opportunity and now I'm getting the calls also. And after a point, I thought that I should give up. Maybe I'm not for this. But at that point only, it is very important that you should push yourself and you should not give up. Hmm. And uh, thank you, Devi, that you have come to my life and that motivated me a lot. And no, to be honest, uh, that uh, words of motivation are, are also helpful. So I want to tell my friends that don't give up. Whenever you feel like you have given so many interviews, still you're not able to get any call, but still don't give up. There is something really very good opportunity waiting for you when you really work hard. So keep studying. Don't give up. And work hard okay. okay yeah because uh why i am introducing like an issue also there are a lot of people are struggling with the production support testing job very low package they want some kind of inspiration they they know actual data engineering or data engineering is a booming field so they learn right. they right. different to places but in some point of attending the interviews also but some point of time we just fail maybe we are just reaching our goal right so that time, right. I just give up. So how right. I attended a lot of, in, in Aishri, your case also attended a lot of interviews, right? So at a yeah. point of yeah. time, we don't know how to crack that one. But I really appreciate your hard work and your, uh, like, an, at least moving forward. So that is the one intention always. So maybe we are just reaching our goal. So that time we think, think about okay, we are give up, we attend a lot of interviews, we fail. But that point of time, the golden opportunities will be coming to us, right? So that right. is a, that is I experience a lot of times in my life. That's why I'm also pushing and I'm just telling people, just go, go. You can easily yeah. get a lot of things. Maybe small failure, big opportunities will be the success right. story. With every failure, we learn something new and we have to learn it. So, exactly. So Exactly, Ashtia. And actually, one thing I just want to uh, need from your side because uh, how difficult is like from a production support to data engineering role? How difficult is okay. feeling like that? Initially, it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. I would say that takes some time to prepare. Like uh, data engineering is vast. So mm -hmm. uh, first prepare, like be focused and prepare all the topics. And after that, start giving all the interviews to any opportunity like this location and etc just start giving interviews mm -hmm. while you give real-time interviews you understand that what questions they are asking and what they actually want from us then you uh, like then you understand that what topics you should focus on more mm -hmm. so start giving interviews this is what i want to say and of uh, coming from a different field it is of course difficult but not impossible now i understand i will always say that keep pushing yourself and you can dream big it is possible exactly so start uh i would i would say that start giving interviews and from interviews only you will understand that what part you need to focus on 
mm-hmm. and then only you can get the good opportunity i think yeah can because the this is the one most asked the question in the community itself because different field there are i think uh, there are lakhs of people are working in the it but most of them is struggling to support role like a different company support role technical support testing then small small other job right so they also thinking about they want a good position or they want to save their career for a longer period of time so that right. is a uh, that is the more reason people are enrolling or like a courses like data engineering cloud side like an azure gcp and aws but the real fact is like people are not able to crack in the interview the main thing is like not investing their time properly consistency is a second factor then fear to attend the interview so i'm just yes. giving actually is the best example because this much of interviews she attended but till now has not give up that is the one inspiration we always needed so that is really yeah. nice aishwarya uh, so for sharing Thank your you, then anything else you want to be share like what are the topic uh, people need to be focused or uh, okay. like, uh, any uh, because if you people are struggling what are the topic they need to be prepare and uh, what are the any key messages you want to be share with the people that is also really nice yeah i would like to tell them that if you are working already working take some time out of your uh, like day daily i i would say 2 hours or even more than 2 hours if you can for just for studying purpose and every day when you wake up you have to revise everything then the all those points that you study will be like fixed in your head and second thing is for data engineering you need to focus on sql and pyspark or python uh okay. this is what i learned from all these interviews that they will definitely ask the sql problems 3 to 4 sql problems and 3 to 4 uh, pyspark problems and the real time scenarios so uh, i would like to tell that there are many real time pyspark interview questions on youtube you go through it uh, according to my experience i will tell that i had made two separate books one for my sql and one for pyspark real time scenarios Oh, yes. uh there are almost 60 70 plus examples in every book and mm-hmm. all the like even when i used to give the interviews i used to note that question and uh, take the answer out of it and i practice it like whenever i get time i write it down in my notebook the okay. sql queries also you can write it down so that when you write one query five six times then you will be able to remember it and also you can develop the logic that okay uh you will have to use row number here or you will have to use range rank, rank here in sql you need to mostly focus on the window functions they will ask one problem on window functions and uh, ct expressions also means some uh, basic to advanced all the like queries you need to practice they will not ask very much basic queries also intermediate uh, queries they will ask for 3 plus years experience uh so i will say that so what are the different types of for the output for different type of joins this will this this they will ask in sql and pyspark also uh, pyspark is little vast i would say than sql pyspark uh, you can do it if you do it every day for 2 3 hours also within uh, 10 days you will be able to finish pyspark real time scenarios uh, so yes devi this is what i would like to tell them and for uh, my sequel please refer uh, like youtube videos from ankit bansal he has given real uh, really good examples from intermediate to advanced sequel series bansal is cute and that is really yeah yeah yes and tech tfq uh, this also channel i follow for my sequel problems yes exactly that's all okay nice yes and uh, for pyspark just a minute uh pyspark there are some regex or replace handling bad data handle multiple delimiters like this repeating questions they will ask you uh-huh. can easily find on uh, youtube you just type pyspark real time scenarios question and answers then you will find all this and mostly repeating questions only they will ask in the interviews Interview, so, right? so, they will be asking to share your screen and write the pyspark code right 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 they will give the question and they'll ask to share the screen and on notepad we have to write the answers so if you master mysql and pyspark i think 
eighty percent of the part is done. You can crack any interview then. Exactly. That is the scenario. Right? If you have a thirty minutes of time, two questions they will be asking. One from SQL, one from Python. Remind them to yes. ask yeah. from theory kind of question and real time. Yeah. Are you working yeah. in real time or not? Okay. That is yes. The, yes. Yeah. Right. Okay. And uh, I should have when you are attending like an interview. So what do you think like most difficult part of like cracking the interview? uh most difficult part they will firstly test your confidence uh -huh. and uh, if they feel that we are not confident they will even confuse us even more and then i don't think that you will be able to remember also even if you know the answer you will not be able to answer so i think first be confident and revise everything before going and stay calm at least if you don't know the answer give an approach to them that i think we can uh, use uh so and so function here if mm -hmm. we get this output we can implement it here so that they will understand that you at least have the uh, like solving approach to a, an example please we need to take some initiative from our side yeah. right yes because if they are given any kind of problem we are ready to solve this one and tell the approach is yes. also this is the approach right. uh, but in some cases if you are not able to know the Coding like a Python coding, we can mention like okay, this is the approach actually. Correct. Currently, I'm not uh, like I forgot that one. But if I'm getting some time, definitely I, with the help of internet, I will solve this one. Right. This kind of confidence we need to show there, right? Right, right. Okay, okay, okay. that's really nice. And uh, anything else apart from that one? Anything else want to be shared with the audience like uh, for helping them like a career transition? Anything else you want to be shared, Ishwarya? career transformation i will always tell them that when you wake up see if you want to switch some days are there you have to work hard like you will have to sleep for little less time wake up little bit early study because you want that package right you want to switch so if you work hard for one year you will get the benefits later on so i will tell from my experience i used to wake up at 5 o'clock study for 2 3 hours then office after office at night also for two hours i used to study because i know i come from a technical like a support background i have to work extra than other people so uh if you really want that hard you have to study every day take some time out of your life and definitely you will get the benefits out of it and one more thing whenever you feel that i think i should stop i should give up please don't give up that is the point where you are reaching to your goal really nice act really nice actually so it's like a that way because most of the people are sharing the same insight actually so if you need to be transition definitely six months of time we need to take from break from any out of our world right we are maybe we are uh, like in uh, celebrating the parties with our friends and uh, family and we need to take some break and we need yes. to observe ourselves then preparing ourselves for showing like a best version so in the Correct. world right so yeah yeah really, really nice so i also experienced the same thing in the six months of time completely disappeared then learned myself when i was moving from kind of testing background to developer in the old like in the one years of experience so it will be a like a kind of period is very frustrating i know you also know right ajdia yes that's right a uh, lot of give up and like a uh, mm -hmm. failures so period was very tough but if you are able to cross that period we will become more happy right we achieved right. something uh, we after i got the first in uh, offer letter i felt like all those sleepless night or all those times i studied it uh, some like a very good fruit i got out of it so I know. when you called me on that same day yeah. i feel very really happy like a Actually, I was also very happy, and when I when the happiness will be reflecting in the words also. Yeah, that is really nice. Actually, that experience is really nice. Right, and also one more thing I missed to tell all my friends that, uh, start like make your introduction very proper and precise. Like sit in front of laptop and practice your introduction for mm -hmm. like. uh it should be like even when somebody wakes you up from your sleep you should be able to give your inter, uh, introduction very properly and precise mm -hmm. introduction mm -hmm. is very important like your name your working so and so and your project explanation all these three things you need to be like uh you should be able to tell 
confidently and properly so that is the beginning of the interview right so that also one more thing i have practiced that i was very confident in my introduction and my project explanation that oh. i had practiced daily okay okay that is really nice because introduction they can understand you are confident or not right so practicing yeah. the introduction also a good tip actually yes yeah, in front yeah. of the camera or like a mirror also fine actually yeah i used to turn my camera on of a okay. laptop and okay. sit in, sit in front of laptop and uh, say the introduction and project explanation okay okay great great yeah yeah so it will be a nice experience actually so thanks for the time to sharing this insight to the community itself because maybe your words can motivate others and they will get an offer so so definitely yes everybody will get the offer surely yeah. <laughs> surely yeah <no. laughs> so, yeah anyway thanks ashley thanks for joining the podcast so uh, you can share your insight in the linkedin and whatever the platform you have right what once you get the like in whatever once you join the company also so maybe you can share some insight to the people to helping them so that words or love that kind of not will maybe reach some others life that is a new life yeah. we can provide yeah. it right right nice okay yeah thanks yeah. ashley thank you for your time thank you devi Thank you, Devi. Thank you.